Welcome back to the Reaper blog. Today we're looking at Unfiltered Audio's Battalion Hybrid Synth Sampler Drum Machine. This was sent to me from an affiliate of Unfiltered Audio. They're not paying me to make a video. They're not even asking me to make a video, but I've been playing with this throughout the week. I enjoy it. I think there's a lot of things to talk about, a lot of great things in this software because it's what I'm interested in at the moment. We're going to talk about it. I have bought Unfiltered Audio plugins before, and I like both of those plugins. And you can see my reviews or walkthroughs of those uh, basement and biome. I'll, I'll link them down below. Let's check out Battalion. This is a hybrid drum synth and sampler. Each of the eight sound slots can have the synth section or the sampler section. And there's just a ton of flexibility of what you can do. Uh, we are on the voice page. You can see that highlighted down here. So the voice page one, if you click on the, the number one or these symbols here, you can hear the sound. Within the synth section, we can we have a master on off for that. And we can also uh, scroll through different sounds in here. And we can also have a drop down list with all the different types of sounds in here. So for like kick sounds, there's the kick engine. There's also the uh, pillow one, which sounds pretty good. Um, I don't know, builder, maybe not builder. Tripwire sounds a bit like a, a splatty synth kick. And then each of these different sort of algorithms or synth engines, whatever you want to call them, they have various controls. There's five different controls below. Uh, the pitch is always the same, but then these four here will be uh, specific to that synth engine. Uh, below that, we've got the sampler section, and it doesn't load with any samples, but there are um, a bunch of factory samples here from all of the uh, contributors to the factory library and things like that. Yeah, a, a ton of different kicks here. It fills my screen with kicks. Um, so I'll just choose one. I'll turn off the, uh, the synth section. Let's put this in the middle, and now... We can click on load random sample. Oops. I keep thinking that I can click on here to uh, play it, but actually you can't. That's the start point of the sample. And you can adjust the end point. So if we uh, turn on the synth engine, We can uh, increase the envelope for, let's say, so this is on envelope two. And so we can increase the decay on the envelope two. That was just do the whole tail. So we've sort of added this spring reverb uh, tail to this kick sound. If we want more or less of that, we can adjust the blend. which is pretty cool. There's all the sort of synthesizer sampler controls that you would expect. There's the filter, there's modulation, there's envelopes, uh, two envelopes actually. So one is automatically assigned to the synth engine and one is assigned to the uh, sampler section. So envelope one, envelope two, but you can also uh, choose which envelope is being used from this drop down menu or in the synth section, it, this is actually just a toggle. So when it's not lit, it's using envelope one. If it is lit, then it is using envelope two. Any of these controls can be assigned to a modulation. So random modulation. So I just click on this little button that allow that's kind of goes into the assignment mode. And then let's, uh, let's modulate the tail of this. Sure. And so when I, I'll just shorten this a bit. And so when we trigger this, It can actually like trigger the uh, the end time of that, for example, and uh, double click will reset that. There's various filters. I mean, this is just one page of Battalion. You can kind of see how deep it goes. I really love this variation function, which is kind of a randomization of all the parameters. If you right click any of them, you can prevent them from moving. So let's say I don't want the master pitch to change. I don't want the filter cutoff to change. 
Um, but as I increase the variation, everything else will move, which is pretty cool. There's two different LFOs. Again, they can be assigned by just clicking on the uh, modulation assignment button. On the perform page, this is a lot of the same controls, but done in a really interesting way, controlling not just the selected sound. We're doing all eight at once, and we can adjust the attack hold decay curve, the pitch, the distortion amount, the cutoff of all of the sounds in this instrument at once. Plus there's this depth control, which scales back and even inverts it. And then there's even this random function. So there's some just crazy amounts of control that you can get from this. We can even control the sequencer as well. That's the voice page the, and the perform page. There is also a mixer page where we can see the volumes, the sends to the delay and reverb, which come over to this section. So we've got the shattered delay effect um, with a few different controls like ping pong, whether it's stereo or mono, syncing to tempo, uh, a glitch effect, uh, and ducking. And those are features you almost never see in a sort of built-in drum machine delays. Very cool. And then Headspace Reverb, uh, which has various different modes here, 10 different algorithms for the reverb. It's all, it's all really good stuff. Sequencer page. So there's a sequencer for every different, uh, every single one of the sounds can be sequenced here. We can also sequence various parameters, velocity, shift, pitch, ratchet, uh, envelope, panning, variation, probability, the sends, and uh, macros. When you click on any of these, that that makes this the uh, the this top section the active sort of modulator for the sequencer. But we can also um, you know just directly draw in here to add these variations to the sequence. There's uh, functions like fill and pattern to uh, to automatically fill in the sequence, which is a pretty nice thing. Uh, we and we can also choose the number of steps. Uh, in this sequence. The sequence length can be set up to 64 steps. It's a little rough to uh, to make a selection here. Thought there was a way to type it in, but I'm not really sure. So now let's hear this. I, I just grabbed a random preset. Let's go over to the performance page and let's adjust this by just applying 10% random and increase. And reverse that. And we can make it so that the, uh, the uh, sequencer doesn't get adjusted or gets adjusted more. Let's do more fills. Along with the random function, there's also a commit function. So if you actually like what these, these changes are doing, hitting the commit button will apply these changes to the individual um, voice pages here. So what we're seeing here is kind of a, a trim control for all of these individual uh, voice pages. And then hitting commit will apply those changes to those individual pages. Um, so when we're on the voice page, we're not seeing what the performance page is doing. Um, but yeah, I, I think it's a pretty cool way to add variation, um, add in interesting fills and things like that. I mean, we can make this only apply to just one of, of the sounds. Let's say just the bass. Let's do that one and that one. And so I'll, I'll randomize this and only the ones that are set to enable will uh, be affected here. So when it's at zero, this is the original sound that was kind of saved in the preset. And then increasing the depth adds these variations to it.
And so there you can easily make a bunch of different variations just by controlling this depth control, controlling so many different parameters at the same time. Let's try the Cybertruck Drag Race. What happens if we pull down the decay knob for all of the different voices? Tightens it up a little bit. And another thing I want to show is the voice preset. So all the controls on this page can be saved as a preset. There's a little drop down menu here. We've got factory presets, so it comes with a bunch of presets. This is going to select the, the synth engine, the sampler, and all the other controls on this page. So let's just load random. Hit random again. So actually this random button is uh, it's not choosing a random preset, it's uh, randomizing the controls. Um, yeah, load random preset. I guess the last thing we'll talk about of what you can do with this, um, like many drum, multi-channel drum things, there's trigger modes, there's uh, choke modes, routing. So this has full um, stereo or multi-channel routing. 18 outputs on this with the trigger modes. Let's say I want to trigger this Whenever number one gets hit so I'll trigger I'll just set this to number five and so I press one And both trigger at the same time and let's say number five uh, So number seven will choke number five It does still go to the delays, but yeah, um, those are functions you can do very easily. Yeah, so that's it for Unfiltered Audio Battalion. There's a ton you can do with this, and I know that they're going to update this further. Um, currently, kind of the, the major downside with it in this current state is MIDI stuff. So um, as good as that sequencer is, there's no way of getting those sequences into your project which I don't really like. Um, of course, you can trigger it from MIDI, but the built-in sequencer is very good, and I would like to make more use of it. Being able to make songs with it um, is a little bit limited right now. So it's great for like creating these kind of crazy drum beats and applying a ton of effects and things to it. Um, but using it in a song, less as a jam sort of function, a more linear songwriting approach, is is not really there yet, I'll say. To create one very cool generative pattern where it's even constantly changing, but there's no way of like committing that as MIDI. There's no MIDI out. There's no uh, drag and drop MIDI export. So yeah, that's a little bit limited at this stage. I heard that they're going to add that. We don't know for sure, but that's my only sort of, I, I think that's the only downside of this plugin at this time. Everything else I really, really like. I like the sounds, I like the variety of things you can do with the sounds. Unfiltered Audio makes great plugins, great prices, and yeah, and great support as well. So that's it for Unfiltered Audio Battalion. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon. Visit reaper.blog for more tutorials.